This is Jeff from Airstream Nerds, and today we're going to sanitize our water lines. It's been so, it's been so, cruising to the campsite singing our song. It's been so, it's been so, we are the Airstream Nerds. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our water and we're going to fill it up. Now there are no threads, but if you just set, the, set your hose in there, and don't turn on the water full blast, it'll fill up. Our tank is 39 gallons, so it didn't take but a few minutes to fill up. Now, I imagine the reason why it's not threaded is so someone doesn't hook up their hose, crank up their water, and forget about it and blow the tank up or something like that, or blow a line out or something like that. Okay, so as you can see, we're at 94% which is close to a full tank. So what I'm gonna do now is get a one gallon bucket and some bleach. Okay, so I've got a gallon bucket. I've got bleach, and this is just regular bleach. No um, deodorant, no gel, no nothing. This is just straight up plain bleach. I've got a funnel and I've got a measuring cup. Now I got these out of the kitchen. Since we're putting bleach in there, just wash them, they'll be fine. Make sure that your bucket is clean. Don't grab one out of your shed. Now we've been using this bucket for years in our campers. It was a drywall bucket. It's a nice small size for filling up the toilet, um, things like that. Uh, it's been cleaned a bunch of times. I just washed it again. So what I'm gonna do, it's a quarter cup of bleach for every 15 gallons in your tank. And my tank is 39 gallons. Um, and that would put it a little over a half, half a cup, but I'm just going to put right around half a cup. If it's just a little bit over, I'm fine. Um, I know that's not the exact ratio you're supposed to put. It's supposed to be a little more than that, but I'm fine with just a half. So I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to dump it in there. Never put bleach directly into your tank. Always dilute it with water. So I've got my half a cup. I got my gallon of water. I'm gonna mix it in there. Now I'm gonna take the bucket and this little funnel. This is gonna be the fun part. So I'm gonna put the funnel in like that and I'm gonna pour the water in slowly. Okay, so I got it all in. It's not an exact science. The mixture is, you want it to have it exact, but if you spill a little bit on the ground, don't freak out. I think you have to start all over or something. Close the cap up. I mean, it doesn't matter if you close the door or anything. And then basically what you want to do is you're gonna make sure your pump is on and you're gonna run water through your tanks for a couple of minutes until you smell the chlorine. So it's really important that you have a good sense of the smell of the chlorine. So I've got it running. I don't, I was washing um, the toilets this morning. My hands smell like bleach. So I'm having a hot time smelling the chlorine bleach smell from the faucets. So I'm just gonna let them run for about a minute. And, um, So I've already finished running all the, all the bleach solution through all my faucets on the inside, including the toilet. And I've went to the shower on the outside. And while I was washing that out, I just, I just sprayed that all over the valve and, and everything and cleaned that all up while I, while I was using the water anyways. Killed two birds with one stone. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna top off my tank. Now I've already done it. So right now we're at 94%. And I'm gonna turn off my pump. Very important, make sure your pump is turned off um, and you're going to let everything soak for at least three hours. I'm going to do it overnight. It's probably going to be 24 hours. Um, I'm going to come home from work tomorrow and, and I'm going to finish. 
So I'll see you when I get back. All right, it's been 24 hours. The bleach solution has been sitting in my tanks and in my lines. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my pump back on and I'm gonna drain some of the water. I'm gonna open up the faucet in the bathroom because in my model, the bathroom faucet drains into the um, into the gray, into the black tank. And my, at, right now my black tank's at 20%. So I'm gonna do that and I'm also gonna go outside and I'm gonna open up the low, the, the low point valve since I don't necessarily need to run all this bleach water through my lines, I'll do each faucet for you know a minute or two again just to just to circulate it, and then I want to drain the entire system and put clean water back in it, run that through, drain it again, and do that until until the water in my in my faucets and, and the shower and everything will have lost that bleach smell. So I'm going to do that. Be right back. Okay, so I have drained the water out. It's at zero, there's probably a gallon or two left. But my tanks are getting full. So I've hooked up my pump to the power, the external power that I've uh, shown in other videos. And we've got the pump pumping into a tank. Or pumping into the um, feed into my main drain into the house. So this, this is how I've cleaned out my tanks at my house. Okay, now that I've drained my tank, my uh, waste tanks, I am now refilling the freshwater tank. And as you can see, I'm at 75 now. Uh, I'm gonna fill it back up and I'm gonna flush that all through the, the drains instead of dumping in it with the uh, low point valve. I'm gonna run it all through the faucet with the pump. All right, so I've filled and I've drained my water supply twice. I've run water for several, several minutes through all my faucets, including the outside. I have drained my waste tanks once. Um, I wasn't planning on it, but I had to because I filled them up, obviously. Um, I did find out something that I thought, and actually I think I've read on, on, on um, the Airstream forums, is that my bathroom sink does not drain into the blank tank it drains into the gray tank which i'm pretty sure that i read somewhere that it drained into the gray into the black tank since it's sitting right there that it was because it's right above there or something i don't remember but it definitely is gray so the only thing that drains into my black tank on my particular trailer is the toilet um but i've done all that I've back. I've refilled the freshwater tank about halfway full, a little bit, a little bit more, just wherever it was above half, and I turned the water off, so it's like at 60 or something. Um, I left the waste. Actually, it's just clear water. Um, I did put chemicals in it, but it's clear. It's clear water in both my my um, my gray and my black tanks, only because in two weeks we're driving to Tennessee, and it'll be nice to have that water sloshing around and and all that. Um, so I, I'm, I'm going to plan on, on draining it as soon as I get there. We'll, we'll drain our tanks out. Um, and that'll be, that way we'll, it'll be nice and fresh. And I put the, put the water back in the tank so we can stop at a couple places on the way down rest stops and stuff. We have our own bathroom, our own, we can have lunch or what, whatever in our own, uh, in our, in our own Airstream in a, at a rest stop instead of having to stop and, and do something. Um, otherwise my tanks are now sanitized for the year. I plan on doing this every year about the same time I dewinterize. Um, if you have any questions or comments, something I'm doing wrong, something I could do better, faster, please put them below. If you like it, subscribe. Um, this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds, and I will see you on the next trip.